How's yourself? Uh, thank you. Sup? 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 Carly, yes? Who? Asher Bieberman, the Israeli minister. A hovercraft, a festival hall, but that's madness. They won't get beyond Tower Bridge. Turn around Waterloo Bridge fast. Right, give me a situation report. What about the river police? Yeah, in a minute. The river boys are moving down from Wapping and Limehouse. If they turn back, we've got another crew coming from Westminster Pier. And on shore? Every car within a three-mile radius. Both banks will be crawling with men. Police helicopters on motorways one and four diverted to central London. Southeasterly direction over Southwark or Rotherhithe, flying low. A helicopter. Not so mad at that. HQ, Cowley here. Inform all CI5 agents of the Asher Bieberman snatch. On leave, off sick, whatever. I want everybody on the job. Yeah. What? Right, I'm away. Booty! Booty! You've stood me up just once too often. Breaks my heart, really does. I'll say, good fly. Four five. 
Right, will do, four or five out. Sorry, love, I thought it did seem. Ditch me? What are you talking about? We're going to the rock concert. We were going to the rock concert, duty calls. But you're off duty tonight. I was off duty, I'm not now. Look. Get Central to give me a rundown on the festival hall snatch, will you? Why didn't you tell me? You're impossible. Well, look, I'll call you tomorrow. I'll call you later. Don't bother. It's no bother. I mean me. Don't bother me. Uh, Just forget it. Deborah, oh, come on. Deborah, hang up. Oh, no. oh and uh, I want to send some flowers to Miss Jane Anderson. ETA, uh, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I want you to send a telegram. Uh, to, a greetings telegram to Miss Deborah. Nine mil. They're using different makes, Czech and East German. Yeah, must be using M10s, Uzis or Ingrams. Thought they went bust. No, there's that new firm in Atlanta making them. It's not where you got mine from. <laughs> All right. Are you still chasing that big gymnast? Yeah. Well, I only go for the strawberries and cream. One of our choppers is over Kingston, starting an arc for the southwest. The other one's still over the city, heading southeast. Uh, what about the heliport? Have they put anyone up yet? Only one in the air so far, sir. Most of the pilots have checked out for the night. Sir? Marvellous. Caught four square with a political hot potato. Well, if they will go out of an evening. Well, we picked one up, sir, but it's a planned flight to the coast. Uh, nothing on radar? No, sir. Well, if they're not spotted soon, it'll be dark, and then we're really in trouble. for speed, that's where they got us. This isn't a needle in a haystack, it's a whole harvest of haystacks. Come on now, move, move! Right, get in there, Moshi! Right, let's go! They haven't cleared the country, transferred to light aircraft. They're well organized. It might be better for us if they have. And have the whole world thinking we can't give security to our guests? I don't believe, I simply don't believe they could get to the coast without someone getting a light. Well, a chopper's not exactly a Rolls Royce, is it? They can't just land unobserved. What, clearing in a forest? Marshes? Heathland? Golf course? No, all right, point taken. The Joe public might come through with something. The appeal's going out on all stations, radio and TV. Get his head down! This isn't Italy or some banana republic. This is an island, a piece of land surrounded by water. They must not get off this island. Scotland Yard, the radio and TV stations have all been swamped with calls. It seems that everyone and his mother heard or saw a helicopter in every conceivable part of London and the home counties. And on the coast? A few, but those are mostly traceable. And first reports tie in with scheduled flights of civil aircraft. And what's your guess? Oh, I don't go in for guessing games. But I think they're down and gone to ground. I can't tell you how serious this is. The ramifications are appalling. Oh, I know. Now, don't keep this one under your hat, George. I don't want any of the, with one bound, Jack was free. I want a fully coordinated operation, police, special services, whatever. I understand. But in the final analysis, weight of numbers may be an embarrassment. This is clearly a well-planned operation by a small force of, as yet, unknown participants. The word embarrassment's well chosen. But equally, we must be seen to be active. We can't afford to risk the criticism of appearing inactive. Now, those are political considerations, Minister. We have the experience of other countries to ponder on. Cities saturated with counter-terrorist forces, drenched with operatives. And weeks, months later, the kidnappers' quarters have been uncovered empty. Marvelously anonymous places, not derelict farm buildings miles off the beaten track, but flats or houses in the thick of suburbia or right in the heart of city centres. I know, I know. I 
assure you, Minister, our best course is to play the waiting game. They will. And so must we. Don't suppose you had time for a little pre-concert dinner? Sorry, it's not salt, beef and knuckles. Or, uh, what is it, uh... Lodkeys? <sighs> Please excuse the cutlery. Don't want you cutting yourself. Oh, nice hands. You should play the piano with hands like that. I do. Yes. Very musical, your people. Beethoven, Strauss. Oh, no, he wasn't one of your lot, was he? Strauss. Hey, Tales of the Vienna Woods, that one. Get on with it, John, will you? I do hope we don't have to cut one off. One of your fingers, I mean. Yes, but we, we are running against time, though, sir. Yeah, sir, of course. Would you hold a moment, sir? This one could be good. An old lady thought she heard a chopper about the same time. Um, in this area here, sir. I thought it was the local millionaire who's got a pad out there, but realised he was in hospital, Gallstones. Could anybody else have been flying it? No, the pilot's himself. Machine's been on the ground for weeks. Good, excellent. Uh, getting better. Same area. Pair of fellas out walking his dog. Reports a speed merchant took the number four's plates. Direction? Uh, B road, but it leads straight onto the main London road. Into or out of? Well, oh. it's something. Mount a search. What, in the dark? I don't care if it's pitch black out there. Mount a search. Please, troops, where's the nearest camp? Get moving. Uh, hello, I'm sorry, sir. Yes? Oh, that reminds me. About the fellow that went in the nut house. Nervous breakdown, you know. He said to the doctor, he said, will I be able to play the piano when I get out? The doctor said, yes, of course you will. That's funny, he said. Couldn't play before I came in. <laughs> you understand? Are you up on the language? Enough. We will, you know, if we have to. We'll cut off your hand if we have to. Sunray five to six ray. Sunray five to six ray. You find this job interferes with your social life? Interfere with our commanding officers <laughs> when we told him to get out on night maneuvers. I'd oh, sitting in his mess kit sipping port, was it? Yeah, I loved it. Times those guys have had me slogging through the night. Up to my eyes in mud. Yeah, me too. Come rain, come sleet, come snow, pound in the streets. Used to really get me, you know, watching them come out of the pub, well jollied up, and off home to their warm bed. Well, you're an officer now. Tell Cat to Cowley. You tell him. Hang on. I told you that chopper would be down before dark, didn't I? You know, I sometimes wonder where you get this incredible insight into the criminal mind. Not if you go on munching bread and fried grub, you're not going to make old bones, you know. It's beautiful. It gets the adrenaline flowing. Just clogging yourself up with cholesterol. Pull over. I'll take the wheel. What? I've just realised the incredible risk I'm what taking. You're jam tart. Your, your heart could just pop at any minute. Come on. Get off! Go on, have the other half. That's what you want, isn't it? I know. Want it? I wouldn't be seen dead eating that. It's because you forgot to bring your vitamins. Right, we're there now. Tell Mr. Cowley that we report back in five minutes. Out. You boys haven't touched the outside of this thing, have you? <laughs> of course not. Look, we found it. Have our job to miss it, haven't you? Yeah, all right. Corporal, uh, pan your man out at intervals of 25 yards and post them in the lane 50 yards distance apart. No unauthorized personnel past that point, OK? Right. Oh, I've got something to show you. Great, fine. Let's have it, thanks. I think we'd better be careful. Could be boobied. Well, you think they're that fancy? Yeah, well, they're still in the helicopter, haven't they? Taking a guy that some Arabs would give half the desert for. 
So I don't think they'd be too squeamish about blowing off the odd limb, do you? You're quite a persuasive talker when you want to be, aren't you? Let's leave it to the bomb squad. Good idea. Right. You haven't touched us, have you? Oh, yes. Kaiser of Tel Aviv supports local industry. Be hopping around on one foot. <laughs> Except that he's not going very far. There you go. I shall want that pen back. Looks like two cars. Yeah, and going in opposite directions, so take your pick. You got a bang out of sounding there. What else did you get for Christmas? Three six. You on your way in? Yes, sir. The chopper collected from Elstree Airfield yesterday on a transporter. Well, that explains it, why they didn't fly in daylight. They did a good job on the papers. The owner's signature in the works. And they were British. One sounded Scots. Oh, one of yours, sir. Oh, that's enough, buddy. Sir. Where's Goldilocks? Oh, he's in the back trying to get some beauty sleep. He'd better make the most of it. Out. Out. He sounds lively. Oh, that crack of yours about it might be better if they got out of the country. That really stuck in his patriotic craw. That's incredible. Look at the time. The minister cannot be disturbed. If Smiler came through on the hotline, it'd be the same story. Listen, you've got to learn to live with the order of things, right? There's a move afoot to bring back touching the forelock. Oh, does it hurt? So There's a new job in the papers, the owner's signature. Excuse us, sir. And they were British. Once I knew Scottish. Really? Uh, 16 hours since they did the job. They're in no hurry to get in touch. We'll just have to wait, that's all. Try telling that to world governments. Washington still believes that over here everything stops for tea. Excuse me, sir. They found the express. There's something waiting for us in a phone box in Jubilee Walk. Oh, next step in the waiting game. Right. I'd like the sign of that something. Half an ear, perhaps. Excuse me. There are times, Bodie, when I find your ribaldry quite distasteful. Come on, sir. Yeah, right. Is Harvey down there already? Yes, sir, they've checked it out. They've got a bomb squad. Jubilee place, you call it? Uh, County Hall. Come on, hurry, hurry. Harvey's got the They're first squad there. They've checked right. it. How soon did your men get here? Within seven minutes, sir. Every chance the box hasn't been used since. I'd probably use gloves and dial with a pencil. Possibly, but there's always a chance. Door. Come on. Is this door safe? Perfect, sir. Yeah, there was something bulky in there. Look at the uh, outline. Oh, cassette. Maybe. Have you got those uh, scissors there, please? Thank you. Yeah, give us a uh, bag and a tissue. Really. Oh, there's no wire. Thank you. That's all right, I think. Hold oh, that. There you go. Yeah, you're right. One cassette. Uh, German cassette. Not too much by British about this lot. There he is. It's a bit cheapskate. They've used available light. Sounds like something, though. They get the sun in the morning. And the moon at night. Very amusing. He looks a bit groggy. Yeah, it's probably doped up to the eyeball. We'll get this blown up. And go someplace and play this tape back. Uh, see that they check up the box for prints. Hey. You never know. And if these demands are met in full, I will be released unharmed. Otherwise, my... Captors will consider themselves absolved from the consequences. Asher Bieberman. The last section once more, please. In full, I will be released unharmed. Otherwise, my captors will consider themselves absolved from the consequences. Asher Bieberman. Once more, if you please. met in full, I will be released unharmed. Otherwise, my captors will consider themselves absolved from the consequences. Asher Bieberman. Thank you. He tells us two, possibly three things. Does he? What? We had to hear it several times. The pauses. The seventh, the eleventh, 
and the 17th word. A prepared code and the message dictated by the kidnappers. He tells us they are not Arab, that they are not political. They are, I think, British. And if they had been Arab, political, a different sequence, right? We have to be prepared at all times, on all levels. Quite. Yeah, excuse me, sir. My, my, there's careless for you. A break for us that bit of morning, sir. In the worst summer for years. They always say that. Yeah. What about this, sir, this line? It's not a crease in the photograph, is it? Telephone wire? Perhaps. But there's no proof it's on the outside. This uh, round patch, now, I don't think is a stain. Well, it's probably one of those ventilators, you know, that you see in the bed sitters. Yeah. Very faint. Well, plastic on glass, it would be. What about this hard line here, this sort of curvy bit? Bit of furniture obstructing the sunlight. Bigger, man. Bigger still. Especially that round blob there. Yeah. Well, thank you, gentlemen. We knew about the British angle. They collected the helicopter from Elstree Airport, forged documents. Unusual. Professional criminals meddling in the political area. It has happened elsewhere, in Italy, for instance. Mafia supplying arms to the politicals. Yes, yes, of course, and the IRA running protection rackets, but this is an odd one. I don't like it. Nor do we. Especially, I imagine, my friend Biberman. Now, if I, or any of our specialists, could be of any help to you. Specialists, Mr. Hirschfield? Don't tell me that Israel has specialists operating here. No, Mr. Cowley, I'm not telling you that. Of course not. You'll be informed immediately of any development. Thank you for your courtesy. A bientôt. I'll get these. Oh, kind. Actually, I was thinking of having some Aylesbury Dock at Simpsons on the Strand, but I suppose you're used to all this toad in the hole stuff. Don't give me that. So one of you don't steal it out of a billy cat. I think I'll have some spotted dick if I can get her attention. Mind if I join you? We're not coming apart. I notice that. C division? Oh, CI5. Mm, big stuff. Shouldn't you be in the private dining room? Isn't this the private dining room? This isn't the private dining room. What? I've just got me spotted dick. Afternoon, ladies. Is this golly annoying you? We were discussing sexual politics when your friend arrived. Is it in your brief? Four or five. Brief? Brief or briefs? They're hung up on clothes. Prisoners of the virility cult, obviously. Understood. Come on, we're on. On what? On a bus. Oh. Hook yourself to the chips. All right. We'll continue this meeting at a later date. You and me could form a subcommittee. You know what I mean? This is ridiculous. How does he know it's a boss anyway? It could be a shadow, anything. Well, we're going to get very far sitting around in police canteens, were we? Yeah. See that blonde piece? Yeah. Oh, I could have fixed her. Sexual politics. You know, this equality business doesn't do much for what the Spanish call cojones. Tell me, what do you think of the philosophy of Kant? I think yeah, it's exactly. Yeah. So if that hard edge on the photograph is a bus, then this is a place to be, isn't it? You said it was a chest of drawers. Listen, oh. that man in Rome, the one with the red socks, he's the one that's infallible, mate, not me. Yeah, him and Cowley. Well, there's enough daylight to give us at least one sweep. There are 300 bus routes, not counting the A's and B's, and the Green Line double deck. All oh, right, it's a long shot, but long shots have come in before. Then the locations, if any of them fit the bill, there'll be dozens. You're too young to remember the war. You could go to jail for what you're doing, spreading alarm and despondency. 18B, I think it was. Mr. Cowley, I'm not being despondent, I'm just being realistic. Do think it's lunatic. How many years have we been in this outfit, eh? I'm stuck on the top of the bus looking for a load of kidnappers. What's that? They're pouring people under the buses. All over Greater London. Army, Navy, Air Force, Police, two by two, just like into the ark. It's crazy. We're the two top operatives and they got us on top of a bus. We, we should be where it's at. Well, how do we know where it's at? Carly's probably got his auntie on a bus by now. But we do know several things. The room faces east. There's a line, if it is a phone line, can't be less than 24 feet from the ground. And the infrared process suggests grid lines in this disc here. It's very probably a ventilator.
That's the third one on this route. No phone line. You know, I reckon that line was on the inside anyway. They could have strung it up to hang up dishcloths, nylons, anything. OK, we better report it. We're about a mile from the depot. What's our next little jaunt? 52. 452 Operations Centre, over. Is that further out? Yeah. You know, they speak a different language out there. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, I know, I know. Keep taking the pills. <clears throat> I'm going to pack this job in. <laughs> and do what? Uh, Operation Centre, 4-5 here, reporting a possible red Z, over. And do what? Move off some rich woman. Oh, they can be very demanding. No, you know. I've tried it. Very boring, very repetitive. Uh, Operation Centre, 4-5, reporting a possible red Z, corner of Garrett's Lane and Delia Street, over. Repetitive? Yeah. You little devil. I've been for an ice cream. Ice cream? What's up with you, Mac? We're sitting on a bomb in this place and you go for an ice cream? Don't worry about it. There's nothing strange about going for an ice cream. It's all this cloak and dagger stuff anyway, Frank. It's OK out there. Better be. Do you want one of these? No. What flavour is it? Well, it's uh, plain chocolate. No, thanks. Oh, you better have it then. Nutter. Hey, him or me? You, you. You do your time. I oh, would be way out, sir. Uh, Neesden, sir. You know, gateway to the west. Well, they will make too quick for us, but that's their prerogative for now. Put their message across and got off the line before we could trace the source. Mm. It was somewhere up here. Oh, great. We've got tape recorders placed in every newspaper office. The periodicals, radio, TV, everywhere. Gay news. Everywhere. News desk? Yeah, that's right. Get this down and be quick about it. We've got Bieberman, and he's up for grabs. This is not a political kidnapping. It's an auction. We want money. Now, just a minute. Never mind the just a minute. Get it down. He's up for grabs. The highest bidder. One lot want him back. The other lot might want him put away. We want to make a sale. Got that? You want to make a sale? Right. The next call will state our terms. But tell them to get their minds made up. There'll be no hanging about. Hello? Hello? Well, we need a voice print. That could be anybody. Sounds a bit like you, actually. Of course, one knows about the auction, as you call it. There are Arabic newspapers printed here, too, you know. With political agents and their staffs. Oh, that is a possibility. Would they want Bieberman? I'm sorry, you're not making yourself clear. Marhaba. I'm sorry, too. The Israelis have always refused to negotiate acts of war and so forth. This is somewhat different. In what way? Mr. Cowley, you're not normally so obtuse. Bieberman is held by criminals, not by soldiers in a state of war. And no one condones criminality. No, of course not. I hope that was not intended as a cynicism. No, it was not. If a certain group were to assist with obtaining Bieberman's freedom. That group would be undertaking the most unpleasant task of uh, trading with the criminals. And for the use of their uh, good offices, they would expect surely considerable concessions and uh, certain acts of amnesty. That sounds a little close to uh, direct demands direct exchanges between the two sides. Perhaps we are now in the diplomatic area. Perhaps you should consult your superiors. Yes. Yes, indeed. Hey, hey. What are you on, apples or downers? I never touch the stuff. Money turns me on. <laughs> Especially the lack of it. Come on, that's right. Ah, come on. Houdini couldn't get out of that. Come on. Look at this lot. Sharp. Sharp as my wife's tongue. Yeah. Where is she? Majorca. Farmer. No. 
Too crowded down on the coast. All right, let's see how they respond to our next little trick. I specifically asked for a plain poplin shirt, any colour, white, blue, pink. What? Huh? Pink, sir. <clears throat> it's the in shade. Oh, really? What I particularly did not want was bold yeah. stripes. Right. Sir, yeah? uh, they think they've got a touch. What? So they've more or less eliminated 20... Just a, just a minute, man. They've more or less eliminated 23 sites. They've got seven on... Just hang on, I'm telling him now. Uh, they've got seven under full surveillance. They've turned over a bunch of junkies in one, and one of them's looking very special. Well, where, man? Where? Neesden, sir. Oh, no. That's all right. It's not one of ours. One of Benny and Steve's. It's a small housing estate, Williston Avenue. Well, didn't you check it out? You told us to stay on the bus. Oh, come on! Tony! Yes, running all the way, sir. I want no precipitate action, no heroics. <clears throat> and if anyone gets any ideas, remind them of the Cypress debacle. Mr. Cowley. I am. Chief Inspector York, sir. L Division. Nothing on today. Three times a week. The odd bingo session. I've seen it. Eh? Yeah. The hero had an operation to take his hand off his hip. The house under surveillance has been empty for some time, except for the occasional visit by two men, both unknown to the woman next door. Oh, what about the neighbours? Divorced lady and her daughter. Two girls night. Down the front. Do you want a word? Oh, please. Yeah. Well, 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 this will never do. A young lady like you out at the cinema at tea time, eh? <laughs> Good evening, madam. Good evening. I'm sorry you've been disturbed like this. You understand what's happened? Yes, the chief constable told me. You suspect there's something going on in the house next door? Yes, some bad lads, possibly. A hideout, perhaps. You've seen some comings and goings, I understand. Yeah, I've already told, uh, I don't know his name. Uh, there's a couple of men, very ordinary working men. But I thought they were going to do the place up, you know, decorate it. Very ordinary, you say, but villains mostly are. That's what people tend to forget. Not like in your comic, my dear. Baddies with eye patches and twirling moustaches. Now we must get you away from here. And don't worry, we will make a mess. Oh, good night. Good night. Oh, and may we have the keys, please? Thank you. Bye. What are you doing with them? Small hotel, bed and breakfast. Nice place, clean, comfortable. Yeah, of course. Good, good. Well, we'll have to wait until dark. Let's go and look at the terrain. Right. Take my car, it's out the front. Just beyond those trees. There'll be some equipment coming in with an expert listening to Basie's heat contact. Oh, well, yeah. easier already with my lads. We can get through the bottom there, and then it's 100 yards or so to the back way. Go on. How did you spell it the neighbour and a wee girl out of the house? Sent down one of our young women constables in plain clothes. <laughs> the mother was agreeable. The only problem was stopping the kid from staring at the house. How did they manage that? Bribery. The wonderful world of potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be dark in half an hour. Some cloud about two, that's good. Get the boffin and another light. Doyle? Yeah. Get the boffin. Right. And another light. Mm -hmm. What are you eating? Swiss roll.
someone's a bit nervous. A little bit. Where's that boffin? Well, he's well doped up, but if in doubt, use the chloroform. Right. Frank? What's up? Moving about next door. Now, did you see them come back? No? No, not at all. Well, they came in the back way. Are you sure you didn't see them? Of course I didn't. I just wondered who the visitor was, that's all, that girl. Well, sister, friend, God knows. Mm. Good looking, eh? Thank you, Miss Bedover. All quiet? Yes, sir. You get some sleep? A little. A rough. Back of a patrol car. When I couldn't sleep, I listened to the shortwave. It's better than a king-size novel. Sex, violence, money, intrigue. You should make a bid for the film, right? Oh, here, hold that, will you? Hello, Coley here. Yeah? Wakey, wakey. The old man's gone back to London. What? The old man's gone back to town. Oh, no. Don't tell me we're up a wrong tree again. No, the Israelis are sussed. We're onto something. But what do they want? Another Entebbe? Five, we've seen him. We're on our way. The whole world knows your policemen are wonderful. If you want to know the time. Exactly. Mr. Cowley, you are an elusive man. You left central London last evening. At... Oh, those were your people trying to follow me. Oh, yes. But they were intercepted by a police patrol and told, most politely, that they were exceeding the speed limit. Even with diplomatic plates, one is expected to conform with the laws of the land. Of course. Now, Mr. Cowley, what's the position? The position is that we are proceeding with our inquiries. But you have some definite information. Uh, let's say we are pursuing a more promising line of inquiry. Four five to two four. Mr. Cowley, can Israel be of assistance? At this stage, I think not. What about our Arab friend's proposal? Such generosity. With friends like that, who needs enemies? It seemed plausible, might not something. But it hasn't come to that yet. I do think that, uh, diplomatically speaking, you understand, Israel is entitled to some more detailed information. The diplomacy you speak of is outside my particular province. 
Obviously, if I was instructed to amplify the information, I would do that. Minister? Ambassador, I really think Mr. Cowley knows what he's doing. Sir, we've had, sad to say, plenty of experience of this kind of thing. Yes, I know. Mr. Hirschfield, if he's where we think he is, we'll get him back for you. Dead or alive? Alive. I hope. You gotta hand it to them, they've got a sense of humor. They've called it a sporting life. Well, they're taking a gamble. There it is. Yeah, touche. They want the jackpot. How much? Two million. Half a million apiece. Is that all? No, and a military aircraft and fuel for 3,000 miles. Plus 12, repeat, 12 parachutes. And the money, of course. They've got their own pilot and the RAF crew jump first, right? Right. So if anyone fancies tampering with the chutes, it could be a touch of Russian roulette. Nice one. Yeah. See ya. Thank you. Hey, listen, make this nice and strong, will you? Don't want to get my head knocked off. Hey, jump. This will kill you. <laughs> Tails in place, returning to stake out. Off. Your clutch is slipping. My clutch or my touch? All we need is the time and the place. Or as bad as Bodie. Oh, now be fair. Nobody's as bad as Bodie. Nice. Yeah, thanks, mate. That's all we need. What's that, sir? The child, the neighbor's child. They've let her through. School's out, just after 12. She must have forgotten. Now keep an eye on them. Red Z, Red Z. 
There's two kids in the garden feeding some rabbits. Police say they've done something terrible. Well, somebody slipped up. How the hell did that happen? No, I don't know how they got there. Job cleaning them up. I hate it. Come on, Zoe, you better go. They've had enough. That's your look! Ow! Thank God. The kids have come out again. Ruth, get the children clear of the area. Hey, there's something on. They're buzzing around like flies. Red Z, Red Z, they're on the move, they're on the move. Doyle, are you ready around the back? Me down. Now, Bodhi, let me know when you're in position. Right, ready. Stand by. Right. Go, Bodhi. Let's go. Go, Doyle. Friday evening, isn't it? The start of our Sabbath. Yeah, well, if you're going to the synagogue, say one for me, right? Yeah, yeah, me too. Um, I haven't got a key, sir. No! Where are you? Oh, good afternoon, sir. I trust I find you well. You haven't got a handcuff key on you, have you, sir? Oh, nice. I'm afraid it's only Indian, Mr Cowley. Oh, it's perfect. Very welcome, I assure you. Oh. Well, that's something else we'll have to indent for, ma'am. One Swiss room. Forty years, still a growing lad. Looks as if he's got a healthy appetite, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Doyle. Uh, no, no, thanks. It's uh, a bit too fattening for me. Imagine villains getting in on the terrorist act. What's the world coming to, eh? Oh yes. Uh, so, is there anything yet from up top about our overtime payments? <laughs> 